<laughs> J G R. Today we will review. <coughs> okay, enough of that spooky voice. Today is the first ever J G R holiday special. So for Halloween, I'm gonna go a little easy on you guys. Nothing like level 10 spooky, but still in the spirit of Halloween. And Scooby-Doo is in the spirit of Halloween. Scooby-Doo, the classic Creep Capers Game Boy Color version, because there's a console version of this game on the N64, but it's an entirely different game, so for this review, we'll pretend that it doesn't exist. But hey, maybe we'll check it out in the future. But anyway, so let's explain the story. The story is based off the season 2 episode, Nowhere to Hide of the original Scooby-Doo series. So the plot is pretty simple basically. The ghost of Dr. Hyde is stealing precious artifacts and Dr. Jekyll's lab is shut down and conveniently the mystery machine runs out of gas right next to the laboratory. Basic Scooby-Doo plot. So how did the gameplay turn out from a genre that's generally done on computers to a system with only two buttons? So. The way the gameplay works is, is when you walk near an object or a person, you press the A button and then you use the D-pad to select if you want to talk to it, look at it, or grab it with the D-pad. Overall, the controls is, you know, more complicated than using a mouse, but for the situation on a handheld, the controls are usable. There's also character selection. Each member of the Scooby-Doo gang can be selected. Fred's pretty basic. Scooby and Shaggy can do things in groups. Velma can understand things that the other Scooby-Doo gang can't understand. And Daphne's pretty basic as well. Overall, the character selection is an interesting feature of the gameplay. Even though you mostly play as Scooby and Shaggy throughout the later part of the game. But that's due to the story of the game changing later in the game. Later in the game, the story changes basically. Fred and the rest of the gang except Scooby and Shaggy go into Dr. Jekyll's lab and some of them get into problems. So basically, you play as Scooby and Shaggy for the rest of the game up until the final chapter where you defeat Dr. Hyde. Overall, this change is okay, but I wish they used the characters a bit more because it was kind of okay use throughout the game and you could have done a bit more with those options. So, let's rate Scooby-Doo the classic Cape Creepers. Overall, I'll give it a rating of 7 out of 10. A non-scary game to play and enjoy on Halloween. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry for being a little bit short, but hey, this video is supposed to come out in late October, not late November. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and bye. Bye!